And Amari Burnett on his senior day into Terrace Reed in the post and Michigan on the board first. But if you can get those two wings to make some shots, Michigan becomes a totally different team to defend. Here's Mass taking it on Reed. He gets the first two up, and Reed wins it this time. And this is where McDaniel's really dangerous in the open floor, pushing it. And knocks in a three, a perfect start for Michigan. Have to get into McDaniel right away. But what's challenging about that is he's so quick. If you pick him up too far from the basket, he can get around you. There's Williams right to the rim. Just as you start to get it out of your yeah, mouth. Yeah, that's it. Tominaga, his first look, and that goes through. Kaysay Tominaga. Always dangerous when Tominaga gets his first shot to go down because he's a guy that needs no encouragement to continue to let it fly. No, he doesn't. Burnett continues the hot start for the Wolverines. Uh, this offense, daylight savings, noon central tip, it doesn't matter. That's what changes things? Apparently. Gets the clock set. It gets everybody going. Here's Alec right to the rim for Alec, and he's fouled as well. Interesting, McDaniel got switched onto Alec, and I thought Doug McDaniel should have attacked him off the bounce, but instead he swung it. Tominaga attacked Reed. Ooh, little spin on it for Casey Tominaga. There's the element of the, the extra rest. There's also the element of that historical note of, well, the best teams are usually the winning, the big, seeds, yeah. winning the Big Ten tournament. For sure, for sure. Coming off his final game at Pinnacle Bank Arena where he had 18 points. Williams short and Tominaga clears the glass. But that's a good pass from Reed. Instead of shooting it, he was under control and kicked it. Oh, 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 it's that time. It's that time for Kaysay Tominaga. Led by Tominaga. Today it's a 15-5 run. Led by Tominaga. McDaniel. He shook free of Hoiberg off the cross. What a find in the transfer portal. You need to replace Derek Walker's versatility. Rick Mass has been just that. Ray Jackson on the broken play has a dunk. Who's going to settle in defensively both ways here? And Lawrence right in the middle of that Michigan defense. It's amazing how Lawrence. 22 points in the paint for Nebraska. Good three-point shooting team with a little balance today. Oh, a deep one, Doug McDaniel. The reaction from Fred Hoiberg said it all. I think McDaniel needs to start to get a little bit more aggressive. And a Tominaga, oh, that's too open for him. 20 big ones for Tominaga in the first half. Incredible. In foul trouble, both have two fouls both ways. And McDaniel got past Wiltshire. And on the second one, drains a three. And he's five for five from the floor. Northwestern. With their 12th Big Ten win, beating Minnesota. And McDaniel on a heater for Michigan. Yeah, you and I have some, some offensive explosions. We, we get NBA games when we work together. There's Wiltshire with the answer for Nebraska. He has the opening miss to start the second 20. It just seems like both teams need to sell out to forcing other guys to make shots. You've got to send two at Doug McDaniel, two at Casey Tominaga. Try to force the other guys on the floor to be more aggressive and take more shots. Interesting, right? Because Nebraska has been so good defensively in February and March. As Tominaga cuts to the rim, he has 25 points. Good block from Allen. Williams has size and uses the step to get the roll. Pick your poison. And you're late to get to mask. It's blocked by Gary. Well done. Look out. Tominaga transition three. Hook that. It's a 12-2 Nebraska run to extend this to 16. Late in the shot clock, Wiltshire gets hands on it. He's out in transition with the layup. The big guy. Juwan Howard calls him the big hoss. Heaviest player on the floor. There's Alex slipping inside, 13 points. Uh, give an assist to Fred Hoiberg's dry race board. That was outstanding X's and O's there. There's Williams and one, Terrence Williams. Well, the Huskers had one job today. That was win and not play until Friday. The Big Ten Tournament, and they take care of it and get win number 22.